Hi, I welcome all of you in this series of videos in which I will discuss the special case of tourist 2K factorial design and the case is tourist for 4. In this design, we have 4 factors and each factor has 2 levels. First of all, I will check that how many observations we have for, for the main effects. So, we will get 4 main effects A, B, C, D because it we have 4 factors. And in order to calculate that how many main effect or how many two factor interaction effect, three factor interaction effect or whatsoever and so on. So this is the formula. We will use the formula for the combination. In the calculator you have saw or in the mobile you have saw this button and CR. So we have n is equal to total number of factor we have. We have four factor in this case and R means that we are we want to uh, find the number of main effects. So 4 C1, 4 combination 1, this is equal to 4. We have 4 main term A, B, C, D. Then for the 2 factor interaction effect, you write 4, then combination, then 2. So we have, we got 6. You can calculate in the calculator likewise. Then 4, 3. This is the 3 factor interaction term, just like A, B, C, A, B, D, A, C, D like this. And now this is equal to again, 4 and then the last term the highest factor interaction 4 factor interaction terms we will write 4 c 4 and this will be equal to 1 because we have only one term the general approach for the statistical analysis of factorial design is the first step is estimate the factor effect in order to calculate the effect first of all we will find the contrast the contrast has been de discussed in detail in earlier two series of the videos for 2 raised to power 3 design and 2 raised to power 2 design. You can see the how to make the contrast in that videos. After making the contrast, we will find the effect. This is basically the, the method how we can so how we will solve the problem manually. This is a very time consuming. However, in order to save the time, we can solve the problem in the mini tab as well. After solve, after finding the contrast and the effect. We will then form the initial model. Initial model consists of sum of scale. This sum of scale values will be found using the answers or the result from the contrast. Again, the formulas has been shown. Let me show the formula in the book as well. This is the general formula for the contrast. So sum of scale is equal to contrast whole scale divided by 8 and this 8 has, is used uh, for 2 raised to power 3 factorial design. The formula for the effect is contrast divided by 8 and where 8 is the number of term with the positive sign and the number of term with the negative sign. N is the number of replication. After computing the effect, we will again use this contrast term to calculate the sum of scale. The formula for the sum of scale is contrast whole scale divided by 16 and an Again, the n is the number of replications. For in order to calculate the sum of square of total, the formula is y i j k whole square minus y tetra dot whole square divided by 16 n. So this is the formula for the sum of square total. Let's apply these two steps step first in order to get the idea that how we can apply a two raised to power factorial design. So we have a problem in which we have four factors, namely temperature, pressure, concentration of the formaldehyde and stirring rate. We want to find the effect of these four factors on the filtration rate and we want to maximize the filtration rate. So we have to identify the settings that will maximize the filtration rate. Currently we have the filtration rate of 75 gallon per hour. So this is the problem of single replicate of 2 raised to power 4. For factorial design. In the single replicate there are a lot of problem. I told you in the previous series that when we have a single replicate in the full factorial design we haven't left any degree of freedom for the computation of error and if we, have, if we haven't any degree of freedom for the error we can't be able to calculate the MS error and based upon MS error we always compute over F value and P values. So our unavailability of the error value will create problem for us to find the f and p value. So in this case, first of all, we have to make this design. I told you people that how to make this design. In the first column, you will always insert minus, then plus, then minus, then plus, and you will have to do it for the 16 term because 2 to the power 4 is 16. After that, in the second column, use minus 2 minus, then 2 plus, then 2 minus, then 2 plus. In the third column, then double it, 4 minus, 4 plus then 4 minus 4 plus 
in the last column use the 8 minus then 8 plus if we have 5 factors for example then we will have to use 16 minus 16 plus so in this way you will make a full factorial design for 4 factors after that you can label it I have told you again in the previous lecture that when all of our factors or parameters are at low level this is the first step first treatment so you will label it as one with the brackets the treatment in which the a is only at the high level we call it we will label it as a the treatment in which only b is at high level we will call it b then in the a b so there will be both a and b at high levels in this a b d we have a b and d at high levels in the a b c d we have all four parameters or factor are at high level so this is the, your job to label all of them then perform the experiments and you will get the filtration rate in the coming video we will perform the analysis